All right, Crazy Marisa family, I have a very interesting story to share with you guys today. This is my BME story that got me into Cornell University. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys with like the research stuff and all that, but if you are interested in knowing more about that, let me know in the comments below. But in this video, I'm going to focus on my SOP or my personal statement. And for those of you guys that aren't so great with creative writing, these two pages can be pure torture. So without any further delays, let's get into my SOP that got me into Cornell University for my master's in biomedical engineering. I watched a news report a couple months before graduating high school and it was about patients' bodies betraying them when all the science we had to offer had failed them. I wanted to do something in the future which stopped that from happening merging the fast-growing technology with biology and as a result, I ended up pursuing my undergraduation in the field of biomedical engineering. My first two years in college, I secured internships at Greenview and TBS Biomedical. My foremost motive out of these two internships was to observe professional bioengineers in action in different environments and the qualities they were exhibiting that helped them work well and effectively in engagement with patients. My research during my undergrad focused on understanding the design process of biocontrol systems to an extent that my team and I successfully developed a device to suppress hand tremors in my junior year. Now, the device was configured to have a small bulk to be incorporated within an orthosis, noiseless operation, and basically a wearable sleeve for the patient that minimized tremors up to 60% overcoming suction cavitation. I also conducted a case study testing the prototype on 50 different patients with tremors in collaboration with a few hospitals in India and Australia. I was selected from a pool of 20,000 students all over the world to participate in a research innovation program conducted by Covidian in Ireland and Bitspilani, India. The goal was to demonstrate limitations in the conventional technology at hospitals and consequently develop a proposal to minimize the cost and increase efficiency. From the standpoint of team building skills, communication, and understanding the metrics of bioengineering, the program was an invaluable experience because in my sophomore year, I received the opportunity to brainstorm with professionals all over the world. Working in interdisciplinary projects during my undergrad gave me experience to work with the process integration teams from various fields such as electronics, mechanical engineering, and nanotechnology for fast prototyping and demonstration. I have a proven track record in the field of biomedical engineering, standing in the top 3% out of 75 students of my department during all four years of my undergrad education while balancing a healthy extracurricular life. Being president of the sports club during my undergrad, as well as the organizer for numerous technical cultural programs and being the captain of my high school and college basketball team. Recently, at Harvard Medical School, I contributed to the area of microfluidics. As a part of the research team, I designed and fabricated biosensors for the detection of pathogens in infectious diseases. In the study, a novel technique for electrical sensing of bacteria responsible for corneal ulcer infection was demonstrated by a method using magnetic immunoassay and a micro-engineered device. My role as the lead engineer was not only monitoring the growth and lysis conditions, but also implementing the experimental protocol, biosensor compatibility with pathogens, establishing high sensitivity and an excellent limit of detection, seal mechanism ensuring zero leakage of the sample and a robust running life of the microchip. My graduate goal is to continue research in the area of micro and or nano devices for biomedical applications. I wish to explore my opportunities in research by learning, designing, and fabricating microtechnology based biomedical devices, biosensors, nanotechnology, and microfluidics. My interest also lies in smart technology for human health, disposable biochips for quick diagnosis, as well as integration of microtechnology with drug delivery systems. In particular, I'm interested in seeking solutions to critical problems by applying fundamental concepts of engineering physics and biology. The educational opportunities offered at Cornell University is a perfect academic fit to improve and enhance my knowledge 
and at the same time give me practical exposure in the field of bio-inspired research. I want to attend your program because of the extraordinary nanotech lab facilities and courses offered. A part of my undergrad curriculum complement the courses that you have to offer. One of the striking aspects that differentiate the Master of Engineering program at Cornell from other universities is the composition and class size. The fact that students are drawn from various engineering branches presents an opportunity to learn from and with a peer group that is diverse in nationality and by extension experiences. In the next 10 years, I see myself as a research scientist in a biomedical company working to formulate novel techniques for detection and diagnosis of diseases. As a researcher, I have experience in working in a wet lab environment. This practical background, as well as working with a collaborative team, would allow me to contribute effectively and efficiently to your university. The meticulous workload of my bachelor's degree coupled with several projects resulted in a rich and rewarding undergraduate experience. I'm excited about the possibility to extend my education at Cornell University. I believe that I can make a positive impact in solving complex engineering problems as well as driving innovative results.